All right, welcome to another video here. To start things off, I just received this package in the mail today, and I think I know what it is. <laughs> I bet you know too. That should just not be it. <laughs> That'd be so funny. Um, let's see. Aha. Oh my god. Got two shirts here. First one, here we go. Project Simus, October 2020. Very cool. Right here, we got this other one. Life Under the Sand. Project Simus, Florida. Dibs. Pretty cool. I'm going to be wearing this tonight when we go down to the Pine Barrens. We're going to see what snakes we can find. So, uh, I'll let you guys know what we do down there. All right, first snake of the day we found in a little pile of cement is this. Let's see if it'll focus. Yeah, this little red bellied snake. Down here, the red bellies are like a cinnamon phase, which is pretty cool. Look at that, he's balanced like that. That's pretty photogenic. But yeah, they call them cinnamon phase because they've got this nice like cinnamon color down the back, reddish. Pretty cool, I'm gonna let this guy go. And uh, we're gonna keep looking. And there he goes. All right, we're gonna be flipping some tin that I laid out. It's pretty cool to the touch now. But let's see if we can turn up a snake here. Okay, so Teddy found this little shred of tire and he flipped it over and look at that. I did not expect Dude, to I, see. I went like that to see, like oh, see. Oh, it's gonna go. Hold on. All right, here he is. He's taken off. I'm gonna have to follow him because these guys are threatening in New Jersey, but what a cool snake. It's so cool. Oh, look at that. He's going right back to where we flipped him. Oh my god, that's so cool. Did you just go down the hall? Holy smokes. Pine snake. So awesome. You knew where this thing Sweet. All right, next snake of the night is this little worm snake. We see quite a few of these things down here. Call them worm snakes because, well, they look like worms. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna let this guy go and keep looking. All right, under one of my boards, we got another red-bellied snake. Another cinnamon face, pretty, pretty nice looking. Check that out. Cool, we're gonna let this thing go. All right, check this out. We just cruised up a nice coastal. Look at this freaking candy cane. Holy <laughs> Oh my god, this thing is just insane. We tried a new road because, I don't know, I just, we weren't seeing much and uh, never been here at all. We were just, we just passed it and I was like, why don't we try that for a little bit? We went down it, it's a paved road, but it's small and it's got all sorts of potholes and stuff. We've had on and off rain tonight, and uh, this thing was just stretched out in the road, kind of derping around. And uh, yeah, I saw the red and white out the window and I instantly was like, oh my god, that's a coastal. So that's kind of what we were shooting for cruising tonight. Um, 
aside from timbers and stuff, but with the wetter weather, we figured it seemed pretty lampy. So, man, it's check that bolts. thing out. All right, well, things are gorgeous. In the bucket. <laughs> so, <laughs> now we would let this go. Of course. Finding and trying a new cruising road at night is insane. I don't know if you can see this, but the road is like steaming, which is such good conditions for cruising uh, Lampro Peltis. I mean, in my opinion, a nice warm, we're in the 60s now, it was 70s not long ago. Um, and the road is steamy. So, uh, it's a really good night for stuff, I guess. So, uh, it's been a little while since we, uh, cruised that coastal, and... And, uh, so we were low on gas. Now we're really low on gas, and I didn't anticipate of the time that I've been spending in Pennsylvania in New Jersey you can't pump your own gas I obviously knew that but I didn't realize that the gas stations would be closing at some point it's like 1 a.m. now we we just been chilling here for a while um, since like 12 or something or 1230 um, but all the pumps are closed basically and we have really low gas so I can't shoot for somewhere like near a major highway to like try to find somewhere open so we're basically gonna sleep in the parking lot here until like 6 a.m. when it opens get gas and then keep grinding in the morning so uh, hopefully we make it through the night without being like axe murdered or anything but uh, I guess Goggins. we're gonna do that yeah keep you updated if we do yeah I'll let you know if we get axe murdered <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, we made it to the other side. Gas station is open and we will be getting gas. Oh, all right, that was a wonderful night's sleep. So uh, now we're gonna look for some snakes and we're gonna start out at a tin site and flip some stuff and we'll let you know if we get anything. All right, we were just hiking in the woods here. I just hiked up, move your shadow. This black phase pine barrens timber. What a freaking beauty. Oh my god, that's awesome. So beautiful. I'm gonna get some pictures of them. This thing is a smoker. Freshly shed. So cool. What a freaking snake. I love the white between the, the black. So beautiful. What the hell? I just hiked up this king right next to this timber. What the hell? This is nuts. What the f That's crazy. All right, freaking king literally next to the timber. Like I was going to get an angle on the timber to take pictures of it and walked this baby up. What the hell? This is crazy. All right, we're gonna let this big king go, as we do with everything. Um, there he goes, he's gonna go about his way. And then this timber over here, we haven't touched him at all. It's a state endangered species. So although for us, you know, herpers and wildlife enthusiasts, it's really tempting to, you know, touch and mess around with something like that. It's important just to leave those guys alone, especially the timbers because they're, uh, you know, protected and also really sight sensitive. So yeah, pretty cool. All right, so it's been a little while since we found that king and uh, pine break there. Um, we met up with Christian Carey and uh, CC Herbs on Instagram and uh, 
we are just kind of trying some new spots and cruising around. Right now though, we have like this cloud cover rolling through and scattered thunderstorms. They're like, it just started pouring and then now it's sunny and it dropped from like 82 to 75, now back to 82. And in my experience, those are really, really good conditions for finding basking snakes or just snakes out on the crawl down here. So uh, we're gonna see what we can do and uh, maybe we turn something else up. All right, first snake we found in a while flipped in a little shingle pile. It's this really pretty little red-bellied snake. It's got nice like granity blue color next to the, uh, it's a really deep red. Um, nice cinnamon top. Yeah, uh, we've just kind of been waiting out the heat of the middle of the day and there's been some intermittent rain showers and stuff. So we figured we'd do a little flipping now that it's starting to cool down and then we're definitely gonna start cruising sooner than later. Cool, gonna let this guy go. Right, so we know Christian's coming around the bend soon and uh, we're bored because we're not finding a lot of snakes yet. <laughs> so, get a little flip of that, take the camera. <laughs> there you go, 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 go. Okay, we're gonna get out of here while it's still perfect. <laughs> All right, so we're pranking Christian here. We just made a pile of pine needles in the shape of a snake across the road because we're bored and we're not seeing much. But uh, <laughs> let's see what happens. <laughs> All right, so uh, he slowed down at the first one, but it became obvious that it was pine needles. So we upgraded our tactics here. <laughs> Hopefully this one's gonna get him. <laughs> oh yeah. Like <laughs> <laughs> it's like a giant poop. <laughs> All right. It's like the one well, uh, before. Let's do it. <laughs> oh my god we've been cruising for a while this is the first snake we've seen nearly all day this like can this like completes our pine barren slam the new jersey corn snake state endangered species and it got hit and there's literally eggs popping out of it it's a gravid female this is freaking horrible I've like literally terrible. Been talking about finding a corn Let's zoom in on its face. Poor guy. Oh my god. It's so it's so still alive. There might be I'm wondering if there's something they can do. Oh my god. I'm gonna try to call people from the state. All right, well, uh, sorry to end on such a depressing note with that beautiful corn snake with its eggs being smashed out of it and it living for a long period of time that I stayed with it for. Um, and I eventually just let it slither off the road because, I mean, what am I gonna do? I called people from the state that, uh, work with this sort of thing, people that I am friendly with, and uh, no one was really around to take it. I was hoping that if it was gonna die anyway, they could maybe like salvage some of the eggs because it was gravid, and while some of them were smashed, others appeared to be intact on the inside, so uh, yeah. Um, sorry about that, but otherwise a pretty banger of a trip in the uh, the Pine Barrens there, we're getting back really late right now. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. Please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you at the next video. Later.